So guys, I'm right outside T-Mobile Arena here in downtown Las Vegas, where I've just gone to see the Golden Knights. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Ultimate Bucket List. And today I'm in Las Vegas, and I've just got to see a hockey game? Now I know what you might be thinking, Nin, why would I want to see a hockey game? I could see one at any time on the TV. My city has a hockey team. Why should I do it here in Vegas? Well, Las Vegas does everything bigger and better. And then brand new team, the Golden Knights, play in the brand new T-Mobile Arena. And boy, what an experience it is. Now I must admit guys, I'm an ice hockey fan and I've watched a lot of games. I've also been to a lot of games. But I ain't never been to a game like this. To start with, you're in the entertainment capital of the world. This place is not short on places to eat, drink and party before the game starts. Now I must admit guys, I didn't have a ticket coming into the game. I was literally walking through the crowds of fans towards the box office to try and score me a ticket. I noticed pretty quickly that the place was full of the opposing fans. And this is unique because most cities, they have pretty much the fans of their own team and you get the odd one or two rooting for the visitors. But here, because Las Vegas is a big tourist destination, there seems to be scores of them. People from out of town come here for vacation and to support their hockey team. And this creates a almost like a party atmosphere because everyone is here to have a good time anyway because you're in Vegas. But the party atmosphere doesn't end there. Here in the concourse area, it felt like you were having a street party around here. There's, there's music, there's entertainment, there's even a stage over there that uh, plays live music to people waiting to just go in. When you do go in guys, you're met with what I can only describe as Vegas in a stadium. Yes, you can drink, you can eat, and you can eat lavishly. I mean, I've never been to a stadium that serves sushi and cocktails. Seriously, sushi and cocktails. The stadium itself is, as you'd expect from a multi-million dollar brand new stadium. It's absolutely immense. There isn't a bad seat in the house in this place. And even though my ticket was in the nosebleeds, I felt like I was sitting in a premium ticket because when you get to the upper levels, the seats bank a bit higher so you get a better view of the action. These guys really do support their team and this particular crowd of fans is just here to watch the team warm up. And I found that pretty crazy. But it's not just about ice hockey. They also provide a light show. There's various bits of entertainment on the ice. There's cheerleaders and a funky looking mascot. Two funky looking mascots, including this actual Golden Knight who took a picture with him. That was awesome. And what's different about ice hockey compared to other sports is that, especially here, there was a friendly party atmosphere. So there was no real ribbing or abuse being hurled. You know, not like in England whereby we hurl abuse to the opposing fans and they hurl bottles of beer back at us. There's none of that. Here is a very safe atmosphere, very family oriented atmosphere and I was pleasantly surprised that it was this civil. The game itself is as you'd expect from a top level ice hockey game. The Vegas Golden Knights, even though they're a brand new team and were expected to suck quite badly, are actually on top of the standings. Okay, they didn't play too well in the first period and the crowd were a bit flat. But then they scored one. Not a middle of the one timer score! That changed directions on the way to the net. And another. Here's Neil down the middle of Kyle And a two-on-one. And another. Gage feeds it out in front. Score! William Carlson again from the left side. And another. Here's Carlson up by Swish Schmidt, two-on-one. Carlson looking for the hat trick, and he scores! Four unanswered goals, literally minutes apart, whipped the crowd up into a frenzy, and boy, what an atmosphere it is. Go, go, nice, go. I've seen a few NHL games in various other stadiums, but nothing like this place. 
and after the game's ended, you can literally just walk outside and go gamble and party and do whatever you normally do in Vegas. It's crazy! Overall guys, I highly recommend that if you do come to Las Vegas and if there is a Golden Knights game, Oh my god, come and see one. Seriously, I'm not kidding. Even if you're not a hockey fan, even if you're just here for the experience, I highly recommend you forking out money for a ticket. Okay, Nin, I'm sold. What do I need to do? Well, you'll need to buy a ticket. You can buy them in advance, and because they're a brand new team at the moment, the tickets are a little pricey. The cheapest ticket starts about $110, ranging up to about $400 for single game tickets. That's a little pricey, a bit too rich for my blood. Um, I got it a little bit cheaper. I met a guy outside the stadium. He kindly sold me one of his tickets. I think it belonged to a friend who couldn't come to the game for about 80 bucks. Um, and he was fun to talk to. I had a blast talking to him. So Eric, if you are watching this, thank you very much for selling me your tickets and for showing me around the stadium. You've been a massive help. I've had a great day and it's largely down to you. Where do I need to go? Well, you need to come here to Las Vegas and the T-Mobile Arena is easily found. You can find it just behind New York, New York and the Monte Carlo Casino. You'd be pretty blind to miss this place. It's massive. Is there anything else I need to know? Um, yes, parking here at the arena is expensive. I highly recommend parking across the street to Tropicana, the casino resort that's across the street. Parking there is free and it's about a five minute walk to the arena. So that will save you about $25 worth of parking charges. Anything else you'd recommend? Yeah, eat beforehand. Um, as you can tell from stadium food, it's, it's not great, it's not cheap. It's about six dollars for a bottle of water which uh, is a bit too pricey for me but guys I highly recommend it even if you're not an ice hockey fan even if you're a fan of another team I'm a Leafs fan um, but I can see the appeal here if I was if I lived here I'd, I'd get a season ticket for sure Guys, if you have enjoyed this episode of Ultimate Bucket List, feel free to leave me a comment below. Comment on the comment section below. And if you do want to tweet at me for other ideas, tweet at me. Here's my Twitter handle. Let me know your other ideas. And if I get enough suggestions, I will go ahead and do that. My voice is getting pretty coarse now because I've been shouting at the opposing players. So, guys, thank you very much. I'll wrap it up right here. Thank you very much for tuning in. And we'll see you in the next episode. Okay, Nin, I'm sold. What do I need to do? In fact, I'm just going to wait for this light to brighten up. There we go. Because they're a brand new team, they're charging an absolute premium to watch them play. It really, really was. Sorry guys, light's fading fast, so uh, better make this quick.